Well, this is actually the second time I give my diamond speech. The first time was at the Dallas conference. It was an empty theater. Josie and Tish were with me. And Josie had been wanting to practice her diamond speech. So we were there with her, Tish and I. And I remember Tish turning to me and she said, well, it's your turn. I said, I, I laughed <laughs> because I knew it was just too far away. That was when it clicked how close it really was. So I hope everybody gets to feel what I felt that day and what I felt, what I feel this moment. And I know you will. I'm sorry, I knew I was gonna cry, it was inevitable. <sighs> Why am I here on this stage talking to you and how did I get here? I still pinch myself because I can't believe it. You see, making diamond was never part of my dream. It was never part of my goal. That's how amazing this is. That's where all the magic is. And it's thanks to family and a group of strangers. So let me tell you a story. In November 2013, I met a stranger. She sold me a bottle of sincerity, a miracle in a bottle. I fell in love with it immediately. She told me the opportunity, and what did I say? No. <laughs> what we all say. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. I'll keep the product and you can keep the business. It wasn't that I wasn't interested. I was. But I knew I couldn't do it. You see, I was very shy. I was an introvert. And I knew I would have to talk to people, and that terrified me. And I know I have to change my story, because everybody keeps telling me they don't believe me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but it was true. There's one person in the room here tonight, or here today, sorry, that knew me before New Serity. He also doubted that I would make it. My husband, right there. <laughs> but, because, but because he knew me, and he didn't believe in the business. And even though he didn't believe, he supported me in his own way. Even though he didn't believe or think that I would ever cash that abundance check that was sitting on my desk. Anyway, back to my story. Okay, so then I met two more strangers. Wait, no, yes, okay. Yes, <laughs> two more strangers from Cabo. These beautiful ladies that came to share their story. And it was after listening to them and how they were doing the business where I actually thought it was a possibility for me and that I could probably do it the same way. And so I said, I wanna be like them. I'm gonna be an emerald, because diamond is just way too much. And I said, of course, it's gonna take me about four years to get there. It didn't. And then, oh gosh. I met stranger number four, our amazing team leader. I had only heard of her and her successful business. She's an amazing person, inspiringly positive and humble, creative. And she did something no other person has ever done in my life. She looked at me and saw me for who I really was. She saw that potential in me 
that I didn't even recognize, but longed for people to see. And she opened the door for my true self to come out. I don't think she will ever really know what she's been to me. I love you. Then came four other strangers, each special, each unique. And the seven of us, we called ourselves the Charlie J Angels. We complimented each other in, in the perfect way. We learned together, we cried together, we laughed together, we whined together but we never let anyone quit. A couple months later, I met two more Canadian strangers. Rock stars like no other, where are you? There you are. They too left a lasting impression of my life. Where's Karen? There, where are you? Oh, there you are. They too left a lasting impression in my life because they said the craziest things. <laughs> and it's pretty much all they said, or probably all I heard. And I remember them looking into my eyes and saying, just don't quit. And you've got this. At that moment, I couldn't speak because I was holding back the tears but I'm positive they could probably hear my thoughts, they were so loud. Because <sighs> all they kept shouting in my head was, you have no idea who you're talking to. <laughs> and I don't have it. I can't do it. It's too hard. Anyway. I was what I like to call myself the happy associate. I wasn't making any income, I wasn't making any money, but I was having the time of my life. I enjoyed every minute of it, being a part of the team, helping everybody. I was doing everything but income earning activities, right? And when I was finally ready to throw in the towel, my team leader, mentor, friend, sister of choice, reminded me of why I was really on this journey and that I needed to fight for my dreams. So I decided to face my fears and began to talk to people and share this amazing gift. And to my surprise, guess what? The duplication model works. <laughs> you just have to talk to people. And that's how I've signed up my first distributor, a stranger from Guadalajara. She just moved there and was looking for something to do. Then came along another not so stranger, I see you. And she just wanted to consume. Now she's a diamond. Many strangers began to join my organization. Unfortunately, I don't know them all. The ones I do know, I don't see you, where are you? There you are. You guys are so special and you have taught me so much. I love you. Then came the most recent stranger who I know I would have never have met if it wasn't for Nucerity because of the distance between us. And she too was very, very eager to join the business and work with me. And she brought in another group of strangers, wonderful strangers from Puerto Rico. There are many other strangers that have come across my journey that aren't in my direct upline or downline. And, for, and to those, they have a special place in my heart because each and every one of you I've learned so much from you. You are an 
you're an important part of my journey. So to sum it all up, I think I'm here because of three things. First, Debbie Schneider was right when she said I had to go to the first conference. It's a game changer. And that's where I learned where we, that we come upon these walls in our lives, these walls that are barriers that keep us from getting to our goals. But it's because <clears throat> sorry. most people quit at, the, at these walls because of what they think these walls represent. We think of them as failures. But instead, these walls are actually telling us, you want to reach your goal? What are you going to do to get there? What are you willing to do to get there? So I identified my wall and realized it wasn't a step back, but a step forward. It was just up to me to decide when, how, and if I wanted to bring that wall down. When I finally faced and overcame my fears, everything began to flow. I made silver after being an associate for eight months. Second, I'm here because of a group of strangers. These strangers who, without even knowing me, believed in me so much more than I ever did, more than my family and friends did. And that just blows me away every time. And not only that, but they helped me every step of the way, holding out a sincere hand to help me up when I fell down, but to also pull me up and pull me along so as not to stay behind. And last, but definitely not least, someone was always there to remind me why I started this journey. I'm here because I wanted to be an example to my children, Mauricio, Catalina, and David. I'm here because I wanted to be an example for them. I didn't want them to ever have to be in my position where they get consumed by the day-to-day -day life and their day-to-day -day worries that they stop dreaming. And I'm here because I want them to know that no dream is too crazy or unreachable as long as you do everything you can to reach it. And I want to leave you with one of my favorite passages. It has always come to me in my darkest times by Marion Williamson. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be gorgeous, beautiful, talented, and famous, and fabulous? And actually, who are you not to be? Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about you shrinking so that others will not feel insecure around you. We were born to shine. It's not just in some of us. It's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our fear, our presence automatically liberates others. I want to thank you all, the strangers that have appeared in my journey. You are now my Nusserity family and you have helped me dream again and become the person I was meant to be. I love you.